Hey everybody, this is Jonathan Hawkins, the Carolinas Property Hawk with a new week of real estate news and updates for the Charlotte area. Today is July 18th. So far this past week, we've had a total of 690 new homes hit the market. Did you also know that the average interest rate is down to 6.8%, lowest in the past three months? Put those together and it's a great time to buy that next home. Whether you're looking in the $300,000 and under range to all the way up to a million plus, there are many options out there. So let's take a look at a few of my favorite from this past week. All right, in the 300,000 and below price point, there have been a total of 122 new properties to come up this week. We're gonna start things off in Uptown in the first ward in a stylish one bed, one bath condo located at 525 6th Street. Enjoy city views as this unit is on the top floor and it has easy access to Uptown restaurants, the Spectrum Center, and the Lynx light rail. North of Uptown, we're gonna to go to 4536 Perkins Road. This two bedroom, two bathroom ranch home has been given a modern uplift with the new kitchen, flooring, and bathrooms, but enjoy the easy access to Interstate 85 or I-85 and nearby Top Golf. Bringing it a little bit closer to Uptown is gonna be number three, um, this is going to be the growing community of Druid Hills and across the street, literally straight across the street from Druid Hills Academy is 1108 Norris Avenue. This is another ranch home uh, with three bedrooms and one bath. Some of the big ticket items have been replaced like a brand new HVAC unit, um, duck work as well for that unit, and even a new roof. Uh, but there's still lots of charm left to make your own unique property. Lastly, for this price point is going to be 5719 Beckton Park. This is a two bedroom, two bathroom house. It's got an open layout and a one car garage. Just a little bit of TLC will help bring this ranch back to life and have you close to all things on the east side of Charlotte. Next up is our homes that are priced in the market range of $300,000 to $500,000. Like always, this is the most common price point that you're going to see in the Charlotte area. And this week is no different with 307 new properties hitting the market. Starting things off, we're going to be located on the 24th floor of the ever popular Avenue building overlooking uh, Uptown Charlotte. Um, 210 North Church Street has one bed, one bath but it has been finished with modern and luxury style details. This condo is impressive and gives you super long range views of Charlotte and the surrounding area. Going east completely updated in the Plaza community where you have quick access to Plaza Midwood, Noda, and even Uptown is 1229 Weldon Avenue. This 900 square foot home has an open layout with two bedrooms and one full bath. All right, going out of Uptown Charlotte a little bit with access to both I-85 and 485, kind of up in that north or the center part of the screen, this next home offers a great location for those who enjoy the suburbs. 13624 Purple Bloom is a large two-story house with five bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and almost 2,800 square feet. Rounding out this price point is for those that seek a little bit more privacy possibly, Located south and east of Charlotte in Monroe is 408 Cheney Road. This three-bedroom brick ranch has 1,500 square feet, a screened-in porch, a 1,500 square foot workshop with RV storage, and it's all available on 1.3 acres. All right, getting into those luxury styled houses, we're looking in at properties that are in the $500 to $750,000 range. In total, we've got 134 new homes that came out this week. Starting things off, we're going to be nestled in the suburb of Matthews. 13530 Four Oaks Lane is an impressive five bedroom home with updates galore. There's a true chef's kitchen with a waterfall style island. This home also has four full baths, a basement, and an additional living unit behind the main house. Next up, located just minutes from South Park area and the South Mecklenburg School District is 4607 Crooked Oak. This two-story home is over 2,000 square feet with four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. Some neat features for this home though are the brick pavers in the entryway and the large screened in porch for year-round enjoyment. Next up, we're gonna head to 920 Millbrook Road. Situated on a private dead-end street in the highly coveted Cotswold community, 
This four bedroom home has an impressive stone entrance with beautiful touches inside like hardwood flooring throughout, updated lighting and lots of built in shelving. Also, this is all in the highly kind of prestigious and coveted and award winning Myers Park School District. Last up, we're going to 2335 Wesley Village. This is a three story modern townhome in the heart of Wesley Heights neighborhood. There's quick access to hot spots like Pinkies, Rhino's Market, and the Bank of America Stadium. The townhome itself has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and sleek finishes throughout, and it's got its own private rooftop terrace. Our next price point are homes that are listed from $750,000 all the way up to $1 million. In total, only 72 new homes hit the market this week, but all are truly incredible properties. The historic and beautiful tree-lined streets of Dilworth is where we're going to start things off. 1505 East Worthington Avenue is a 1942 bungalow with three bedrooms and two baths. Updated for today's buyers, but still oozing with all that old school charm, this Dilworth home showcases what Charlotte is all about. We're going to move across uptown to Villa Heights. This is going to be at 1829 Pegram Street. This two-story craftsman has four bedrooms and 2,400 square feet. Archways and cutouts inside highlight some really kind of cool, neat finishes. Um, but outside is definitely my favorite part with a private backyard and a pool. Heading over to the ever-popular South End uh, neighborhood showcases our next property. This is going to be another three-story luxurious townhouse um, that offers truly panoramic views of the Queen City, as you can see from the picture. 1228 Mentor has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms with open and modern living spaces and a rare two-car garage. Um, last up, we're going to take 885 South. We're going to cross over the Catawba River to find our last home at 116 St. Guile Street in Belmont. The rocking chair front porch is going to welcome you to 2,800 square feet with three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. Out back though is pretty cool. It's got a private oasis with a really cool kind of Southern charm looking uh, brick privacy fence. All right. Our smallest category in terms only of total homes on the market is our last quarter category. Homes that are priced over $1 million. 55 new properties hit the market this week, and many are by the lake, including the most expensive listing, but more on that later. Starting off straight out of a movie set is 2011 Queens Road. Probably my favorite all-time road to drive down in all of Charlotte is Queens Road, um, but this property easily stands out from the rest with its pure white brick facade and striking white columns. This house has 4,500 square feet spread out on three stories of elegance and charm in every corner. Our next home showcases expert craftsmanship and luxury. 7109 Asbury Village is unique in the fact it's not on a body of water and it's not in the immediate area of Uptown for this price point, uh, but don't let that stop you. This Hunter, Huntersville new build is impressive with its 5,200 square feet five bedrooms, six bathrooms, 1.4 acres, and an entertainer's dream with a superb, superb back patio and pool. A stone's throw away from being waterfront on Lake Norman is 21425 Crown Lake. This is located in the Crown Harbor community of Lake Norman with a clubhouse, pool, and dry boat storage. This mansion feels larger than life with its two-story foyer and tall ceilings, and you'll live like royalty with over 4,100 square feet and four bedrooms, not including a wine cellar and its own exercise room. Last up, as mentioned earlier, is going to be the most expensive home of this week. It's an $8 million new build on the beautiful shores of Lake Norman. With 7,500 square feet, a private beachfront access, and tons of windows, this home looks like it more more like it belongs on maybe Miami, like South Beach, possibly. But in reality, it's only a quick drive from Uptown Charlotte. The home is elegant and modern, but the best part is the waterfront facing pool and the covered patio that make Lake, Lake Living a spectacular place to be. All right, that is it for this week's market update. Thanks for following along. If you're curious about the home buying process, are you ready to get started or just any general real estate questions, 
please reach out to me by email. It's hawkinspropertiesnc at gmail.com. Make sure to also subscribe and follow along to get these market updates weekly. And don't forget to check out the playlist Summer Showings, where I'm going to take you on a property tour for 50 straight days, highlighting some of the hottest homes in the greater Charlotte area. Thanks again and have a great week. See you next week.